Hey, what is good, a team? It's your boy T back at it with another reaction. Now, if y'all couldn't tell from the title, man, hey, but today we got this will be somewhat of a I ain't gonna say a sponsored reaction, but these people or this artist, I want to say his manager. I'm not really 100% sure what the relationship was. The person who reached out to me, I'm not sure what their relationship was with the actual artist. I want to say manager, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But they reached out to me asking if I would be able to do a album reaction to the artist 8 Kari. And hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, but I didn't even ask them nothing about how to pronounce the, the like name, where was the artist from, none of that, which I should have just to give y'all a little bit more information about the artist because they're an up and coming artist at the time being. Um, but the actual name is the number eight and then Kari, K-A-R-R-I, which y'all should be able to tell because it should be on the title. But either way, bro, um, I'm reacting to his new project, The Untold. Now, I had never heard of this guy before they reached out to me at all. Um, I did listen to one track that they sent me a snippet of, I, I believe, before the uh, project dropped. But I think that was just one of his older tracks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but the project has eight song, eight songs on it, bro. The longest track is three minutes, 45 seconds. But we're going to do a full album reaction. This will only be our second full project reaction on the channel. The first one was to Big Sean's Detroit 2. If y'all haven't seen that, a link will be up there. Definitely be sure to go check that out. That was like an hour long video, bro. But it's timestamps in the description. I'll throw timestamps in the description for this as well. Um... But either way, I really got too much to say about him. From the from the snippet of the track that I heard, it gave me like a I want to say a Juice World kind of vibe, but I, I'm not even 100 percent sure on it, bro. Either way, ain't no need to hold it up. You better go ahead and check out Eight Kari's new project or new album, The Untold. And hopefully it's some heat, but you already know. Before we hop into this, if you're new, be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're enjoying the video throughout, take some time out, smack that like button for your boy. I definitely appreciate it. Let's go ahead and hop on into this. All right, y'all. We starting it off with the intro track called Faces. Go dummy, cop. Let's see what this talk. Hey, and I'm giving, hey, hold on. Before we even get into the first track. Like I said, this is somewhat of a, I guess you could say a sponsor video, but I don't know, bro. I'm, like they reached out to me, you know what I'm saying? Paid me a little bit, but this ain't gonna be like that. I'm not gonna come in here with, hey man, every track's lit just because they asked me to react to it. You feel me? I'm gonna give my genuine feel on it like I do in any other reaction. But either way, let's hop on into this first track, coach. <laughs> She's still bleeding from a bullet hole, my nigga, what? First of all, I was about to say when uh, he first started, it was like kind of mashed up. Like you couldn't really hear what he was saying, but I like it was one little bar that kind of got me moving you feel this here. Now, low key, I, I wish his like, cause I feel like this is his is our actual verse. I wish this would have been more or less of the uh, auto tune sound, cause you get a lot of that on the on the actual hook. But with that verse, if he'd have came in with like, he got that auto tune sound, like I said, for the actual hook. But then when you break down into your verse, I feel like if he came with a more of a, 
a straight fit like a straight sound i guess you could say i don't really i don't know how to explain it you feel me but just less of the actual auto tune for the verse itself with those bars i feel like would have just offset some of the auto tune you got on the actual hook but let's keep it going I can hear Gunna on the beat like this though. The beat is tough. Make a lot of noise, hair is getting more smooth. Every boy's sleeping, no choice. Baby, so poised, gun is on point. Love is so cold, need a man choice. Okay. Okay, so that was the first track, Faces. I don't know. I mean, it was it was definitely a starting it off with the actual beat. A dope vibe on that, you feel me? Um, so that so that definitely got me moving just off ripping. Like there was definitely times in there where he caught me with his with his flow mixed with some of those uh bars, but that one I I don't know. I can see myself playing it just because of the actual vibe of it. Like playing it on my own and like rotation just while I'm in the car riding or something like that. But it's not really nothing that's like just keeping me there, like, oh bro, this is gonna be on repeat type thing, you feel me? So I like, get it, it had a cool vibe on it, but nothing that was that was too too crazy. And it's only the first track though. We still got seven more to go. Let's hop on into this next track. It's called Everlasting. Let's see what it's talking about, coach. I feel like it's gonna be one or two on here that's like, oh yeah, that's the one. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just waiting on that, coach. see this being a TikTok track low key i don't know why i could just see people doing something with this on TikTok. they just said TikTok about to be banned soon that's tough coach in the u.s TikTok and wechat or something my nigga is my video oh y'all know i got the self promo in the back coach but i don't know about these uh these are vocals right here i don't know I don't know about that. That though, but it doesn't make me happy. Need you right now. Hey, I like that. Though. Hold on. Hey, now this this is one of the tracks that got a Juice World vibe on it, in my opinion. Like I get your Juice World, maybe even the Kid Leroy on this, bruh. You feel me? R.I.P. Juice, but um, I like what he's doing with those vocals, and this is the longest track on this project. So this is the the one that's three minutes forty five seconds. Hold on, we're running back. But it doesn't make me happy, need you right here. That's tough, coach. I ain't gonna lie to you. Make you smile, make you laugh, and make you cry. Put your name, put your name, put your name, put your name. Put my hand on this everlasting. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to make you mine. 
I still don't know about that vocal though. That vocal is a little iffy to me, bro. I don't know, but I like what he did with that high pitch on there. That just rolled right into the actual hook. This part, I don't know about it. Them vocals is like, bro, I can hear it. I can hear what you trying to do with it. I feel like maybe just a little bit more polishing on it, bro. Would have it like where you wanted that is what is what I would say. That fit is so smooth, bro. And now she all on my dick, she sucking it up, she won't think of it. Hey, go to the end, go to the end. A thousand times. Pull up on that baby, I just, I'm all right. I like what he did with this one, coach. That was the second track ever last. Like I said, there were a couple parts in there with those vocals I was like, yeah, a little iffy for sure. But with, with, with that high pitch, that, ah, that, that money slides, coach. And it, like I said, for the actual hook coming right after that, I feel like it made that even more catchy, bro. I definitely like what he did with that one. Um, we just gonna hop on into this next track, Escape the Night. Let's see what it's talking about. I think this is the actual snippet that I heard. protectors keep on taking our life i think that's a why these cops keep on killing us i think that that's what he's saying with that bro it's kind of bright in this bit ain't it it's tough but yeah i think i think that that's what he's saying with with that bar there i kind of i kind of like that bro Tell me, do you feel that inside? i think this is the time we begin losing our rights. all these confrontations people say that they believe in me and all these stupid niggas always acting like a deity this to be all looking for the one can say completely Now ask if you say no more. 
told you to right now, so it has nowhere to go. Do you even know about the power it holds? Well, bro, I like what he's doing on this, but I just, I don't know. I feel like his, his vocals got to be a little bit more apparent or present over the like actual beat because for some of these it's like it's kind of blending in with the actual beat to an extent you feel me let's let's keep it going let's begin, need to keep it my It's like this here, like I can't, I can barely understand what he's saying right now. But I like that he's coming in there like rhyming still, but it's like I can, I can barely make out what he's saying. I can make out some of that, maybe like 50% of it. The vibe on it though, bro. Like the beat. He doing like he's he not making it bad, but like sound bad at all. That's the only thing. But it's like it's not just jumping out at me either. You feel me? I need that instrumental, coach. No cap. But alright, that was the fourth track. No, the third track, Escape the Night. Cool, cool vibe on it. You feel me? Cool vibe. Like I said, none of these tracks have just been... Well, that Everlasting track had a dope vibe on it. But none of these tracks have just been like... You know what I'm saying? He's not He's not on here sounding horrible by any means at all. But none of these tracks have just jumped out at me like, oh yeah, that's the one. You feel me? It's like they got their own separate vibes to them, but I just ain't heard the one yet. You, you, you feel me? But let's keep it going. Hop on into the next track, Turn for the Lost. like the basis of what he's doing is dope but the sound of it like i said just all of it like there's definitely certain parts in all of these tracks we've checked out so far that just don't sound as polished you feel me as they as they could in in my opinion you feel me but we still we gonna keep this going but all these tracks really got a juice world vibe on it bro like a juice world kind of kind of Kind of, kind of vibe just as far as the actual instrumental and just what he's doing on it. Like, I don't know, it puts me in the in the mindset of a Juice World track. That mess is smooth though, bro. Trust me, it's all up to you I did it all what you want me to do You let me in, then it all will commence If you don't want to, you know why we're there And I wake up with the lock, it is my confinement Lock on my body, it's so hard to fight, yeah That's why I don't let you sleep out of sight, yeah Paralysis demon will jump in the night, yeah said paralysis demon will jump any night yet well first of all i've i've had that before matter of fact what is it called sleep perilous i don't know my guy something something like that where you 
It's like you sleep, but you woke at the same time, but you can't wake yourself up type thing. I don't even know how to, how to fully explain that, but sleep paralysis or pa I don't know. <laughs> but that's, I don't know, bro. This is, I, this definitely, just off of those lyrics right there, that's a Juice World kind of, you know what I'm saying, feel to it. But, um, like I said, in every one of these tracks, bro, it's parts in it that, like I said, don't sound too polished, but then there's parts that's like, okay, I can see, like, I see what you're doing with this. You feel me? <laughs> But yeah, some of this stuff, that was the track Turn for the Lost. It's like, the, the, some of this stuff sounded like they, they was trying new stuff as far as like recording it. You feel me? It's like, it's not, like I said, I just wish some of these vocals on here were just a little more polished. That's like my third time saying that, bro. No cap, but we gonna hop on into this next track, Like You Say, let's see what it's talking about. All right, bro. Never going away. I am so attached. I am never going back. Never single because I'm loving your face. Everyone losing track, but I never lost my path. So I stay because you're leading the way. Think I really love you back. All this love makes me act. Before the beat drop or anything, this give me a vibe of something that I could that I would hear in like a like movie or something, bro. Like a slow mo scene in the in a damn movie or like a the damn outro or intro for a movie. I don't know. But my baby always keep me in place And I'm loving your face Yeah One time for the nigga to track to not get a text back So they said all upset tight I'm the one who got it back I'm the one who got it back Baby I'ma get whatever girl what you like All you about to do is brag And show your friends look what I have Gonna make them jealous baby thinking you might You looking so fine I think it's that time Hold your body tight I'm here all night Never gonna say goodbye Now, the actual singing part is another one that's like it don't sound like it's exactly where it need to like be. It's not, it's like it it don't sound bad, but it don't necessarily sound like too, too soothing. You feel me? To the, to, to the ear just off like first listen. You know? But at the same time, like I said, there's still parts where it's like, okay, I can see what you're trying to do with this. Like, this this project to me, so far, we on the fifth track out of eight. To me, this one, it, like, it's like, this is one of those test, or not even a tester project, because I'm sure he put like a lot of effort into this, but I'm just saying as far as how it sounds, this would be something I would say, okay, this right here, and six months later, or a year later, he put this out, and listen to how how that transformed you feel me how he had his sound kind of finding his like identity in this project and then by the time an official official track or project drop as far as like official mixing and math like everything is done like a mainstream artist as far as like vocals mixed and mastered beats and all that stuff then it's like i found myself and this is this is what i'm sounding like now you feel me Hopefully I ain't confused y'all saying that, but even with This didn't say it was featuring nobody, but these, uh... Oh, my nigga, them, them vocals ain't bad at all, my baby. Oh. Even like her vocals even they got 
it's like a soothing sound to it, but it's still like, not even a like raw and like uncut vibe to it, but it's like just a lit, I keep saying this, but just a little more polished, just a little bit, but I like the vibe on that <laughs> at the same time. Like you can hear that shit in her voice. You see what I'm saying? It'd be parts where it's like, okay, it needs to polish it, but then you'll hear something that's like, they know what they doing. They know what they doing. I just feel like the, bruh, just, bruh, either way, we, I'm gonna just run it back about 10 seconds. That's angelic as this, my man. Dope vibe. I don't know who that girl was on there, but I like what she did with it. You feel me? Like this, and like this has been the theme for every track so far, bro. It's not fully, fully polished, but you can still get the vibe of what they're going for, bro. Like I said, this is something I can see this as a project. Like this is where I started, and watch me a year from now. It's how, like when I really found myself and found my sound and perfected it. I took that next level up, you feel me? But we gon' that was like you say, we gonna hop into the next track, Letters, and see what it's talking about. This is track number six. We got two more after this. Nigga, that beat is. Is this the one? Cause the beat already got that quality, my nigga, and that bass is thumping, my guy. Hold on now. Is this the one? Give me, po give me Polo G and uh, Durky on this bit, coach. Times upon us, I lost all them. I don't wanna leave this place without ya. The perks of my drugs, they make me feel numb. I have to pop them, it's just what I. I'm taking stuff I ain't even heard of yet. Hold on, man. You can slow it down. I'm taking stuff I ain't even heard of yet. Calm down, man. <laughs> Calm down, big dog. I mean, I know we all got our, our vices and stuff that, like, you feel me? Mellow you out type thing, but slow down. Um, it's just what I love. It's just the alternative. And I'm taking stuff I ain't even heard of yet. so far got a little bit of like extra filler space in it i'd say you feel me like it's 
spots in there where you would expect them to keep going, but it's like it's just kind of quiet and letting the the, uh, the beat itself ride. But this this beat is so fire though. It's like I don't even mind it. You feel me? Like the beat is riding right now. I hope this life will change. See, like parts like this is like the beat is just there, right? They don't know what to do. I've been out of the cool. Hey, got your bitch in my pool. This money got a vibe, though, cuz. To let me go, no. Don't lose control, no. Don't let me, let me go. Ready, no, no. Hey, ready. I want that B to drop and ride out one more time, coach. I don't think they're gonna do it though. All right, bro, that was the six track letters. That one actually had a dope, bro. I like starting it off with that beat to begin with. It's tough. You feel me? Tough, tough. And he went, like I said, he, I mean, I feel like that was light as far as the actual substance in that track, though. Cause like, he was on there, but like I said, it was a whole bunch of like filler space in there where the like beat was just riding. But like I said, I didn't mind it riding cause the beat was tough. You feel me? But this one definitely probably has to be my favorite so far, just as far as the like entirety of the the uh, track itself. I feel like I'm vibing with this one more than any of the rest of them so far. But let's hop on into this next track, Blood on the Street. See what it's talking about. heard a little bit of the, of the instrumental so far and I feel like when the beat drop is gonna be tough coach the track is only two minutes 15 seconds Let's see what's talking about Took you good out there. He talking about he just he just hit you a bit now. You talking about the hit and run? She got hit before this. Hold on. 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 Don't make amends, I'ma keep on driving I don't make amends, I'ma keep on driving And with stuff like this, he got that like Not even emo sound to it, but it's like I don't know what the explanation is for it, bro As far as the actual vibe of his music, bro 
I would just chalk it up and say Jews World, but it's like kinda, but not. I, I don't know, bro. But it's like somewhat emo. I I guess you could say. You feel me? Somewhat. But either way, we just gonna keep. Going. Don't make a mess. Keep on driving. It's almost over. Don't hate all this mess. Never ever trust a nigga. This is something that you won't remember. Online security. Damn, my nigga, the ads be real, man. But that was the track Blood on the Street. That one actually has a dope vibe, too, bro. That might be my second favorite. I feel like it's between, well, Letters for sure. I like that one. Blood on the Street is between that and Everlasting for my second favorite. You feel me? Because that one wasn't like, I'm, I, I was vibing with that one, too, coach. But either way, don't, don't come back. Is our last track. That's the outro to this project. Let's see what it's talking about. new project the untold now that last track don't come back i mean it had a okay vibe on it but it was really nothing that was too too crazy to me but for this entire project bruh it definitely has a 
it's crazy to me because every track like he has something in there that's catchy where it's like oh okay like i'm saying you like you could find yourself if you just heard that song back to back type thing i feel like you could find yourself kind of like vibing out to it you feel me or like catch yourself humming it or like singing it just a little bit because it's like he got catchy parts in every track but like i said i just feel like the entire project as a a whole could have been just a little bit more polished up in certain areas and certain parts on like every track i feel like there were certain sounds and stuff like that 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 just could have sounded a little bit better you feel me but he still like i said bro i feel like this is gonna be one of those projects he used as a template like this was me finding myself and when i perfect my my sound and I drop this official album or whatever the case is, like six months to a year from now, then y'all see what that pr progression was. Like I started like this, yeah, you could hear some stuff sounded a little bit off or maybe not fully, you know what I'm saying? Maybe mixed and mastered how it could have been. But then when I got all the resources I need and perfected my sound, now I dropped this and it's got a, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is what it is, you feel me? So I'm definitely, I'm gonna definitely stay up to a date on this guy and see if he's coming with some more music, how that progresses as far as his actual sound and stuff like that. Um, but like I said, but he definitely, a lot of these tracks give me a, a like Juice World vibe on it. You feel me? Um, but I definitely like what he's doing, bro. I, I definitely like what he's doing. Keep, hey, stay on your grind, bro. If you think this is this is what you about to go in full force with, which if y'all out here reaching out to people about doing reactions and stuff, I would I, I, I would think you're 10 toes deep in it, you feel me? So just stay on that grind. I mean, I ain't no A&R or nothing, but I know what I like to like hear, you feel me? So like I said, bro, just stay on that grind, keep doing your thing, and perfect that sound, bro. Perfect that sound, and I feel like, I feel like you're gonna be, you're gonna be a force to be reckoned with, you feel me? If you can perfect that sound and come with something just like hands down and they can't say nothing but this is fire like this is dope hey you be on your way coach but here's what it is bro that's just my thoughts on it i need y'all to get down there in the comments definitely let me know what y'all thought about this one let me know what was y'all favorite track out of these eight you feel me like i said for me it would have to be everlasting but then letters no 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 letters was my favorite one but then Blood on the Street and Everlasting were like close second and third. But y'all get down there and let me know what y'all thought about it. Let me, if y'all got any constructive criticism for 8 Kari, y'all get down there. Hey, just drop it down below. I'm sure you're going to be in the comments checking out what y'all got to say. But hey, man, I mean, we on the road to 15K subscribers, a hey, team. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. Hey, y'all definitely be sure to go check your boy out. Instagram, Twitter, man, that's underscore AT. And definitely be sure to go check out the clothing line as well. Instagram, Twitter, that's at 5 King. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to smack that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And like always, say y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all in the next video. It came with a box. I need a box to sit to the spot. You're trapping this froze, and I'm getting hot. I'm having all the O's looking like N I.